My name is Tom Sanford and I'm an artist. I made this exhibition called Café des Artistes. It's a sort of my love letter to New York City. I made 13 paintings, 10 of which are portraits of cultural figures in New York that I look up to and strongly identify with New York City, going through like their everyday life. So I made like a painting of a deli, a painting of a subway, and a painting of a bar. The places in New York that I spend most of my time when I'm not in the studio. This is the mayor, Michael Bloomberg. Oh, certainly he's done some controversial things recently. On the whole, I've liked him as a mayor, and I think he's like a funny little guy. I, I, I feel like I could drink less soda, so I didn't have any problem <laughs> with the whole uh, soda thing that he tried to do. With him leaving us as our mayor soon, I wanted to uh, like raise a very small can of Coke to Mayor Bloomberg. This is the Abbott, the Rizza. This is the clarinetist, Woody Allen. This is the actress, Tina Fey. This is the announcer, Walt Clyde Frazier. Here is the writer, Jonathan Lethem. Here is the chef, Marcus Samuelson. The designer, Diane von Furstenberg. The dancer, Bill T. Jones. And the painter, Nicole Eisenman. There was this deli down the street, down in Tribeca, and I would frequently see both Mike D of the Beastie Boys and Espo, graffiti writer, in the deli, just like, you know, getting their, I don't know, probably Mike D is like microbiotic or something. I mean, it's a Spike Lee working at the deli, which I thought was kind of interesting because it was like totally miscast, because like there's never been like a black guy working the deli, you know, it's, it's just like doesn't happen. This painting, it takes place on the A train, and so I was thinking about John Coltrane, you know. I made the painting of Ornette Coleman here in the middle. He's sort of the inventor of free jazz. And I put artists that I associate with the kind of aesthetics or the sensibility of free jazz kind of around him. So I put Michael Anderson here and he's stealing this Ornette Coleman concert poster from behind Ornette's head. This is Eric Parker. He's a great painter. And Nina Channel Abney, who's a painter as well. And then this guy is the only anonymous person in the show. And I think he ends up looking like Adrian Gr Grinnell or whatever the guy's name is, you know, from, from um, Entourage. So, but it's not meant to be him. This is a painting I made of Carlo McCormick and it's, it's based on that really famous Manet painting where the woman is standing at the bar. And so Carlo, you know, he's a great art writer and he, you know, he's a, I, I've known him for a, a long time. He's always been really supportive. I love Carlo. Sometimes he bartends at Lit Lounge and so he has, you know, he's like, you know, moonlighting as a bartender. So I figured like that's an incredible like little like kind of New York nugget. You could be buying a beer at Lit Lounge and you know, Carlo McCormick serving it to you. There's so many incredible people doing amazing things here. It's not like that anywhere else. You know, the vibrancy of this place is what in, sort of inspires me. I've rarely tried to paint in other places. And it doesn't really work. The kind of ambient energy is important, and I hope to be able to contribute to that.